Stacey Ann Marie Kabler is an American actress, model, former professional wrestler and valet who is best known for her work with World Championship Wrestling and World Wrestling Entertainment as a WWE diva. Kabler was a contestant on the second season of Dancing with the Stars, where she placed third. She has also appeared on other American broadcasting company shows such as What About Brian, George Lopez, and October Road. World Championship Wrestling, 1999-2001 Cabela began watching wrestling with her boyfriend at the time, Chris Cumberland. She can be seen in the crowd at Starcade 1998 before the television title match, dancing in an Enwa Wolfpack t-shirt. In late 1999, Cabela entered a contest held by World Championship Wrestling, WCW, to find a new member of the Nitra Girls dance troupe. In November, she defeated 300 other girls for a spot on the dance troupe and $10,000. Better source needed her winning routine was watched by 4.4 million viewers. Cabela performed dance routines every week on WCW's flagship show Monday Night Row under the name Sky. By 2000, Cabler was appearing on WCW as a Nitro girl, attending school full-time, and cheering for the Baltimore Ravens. She soon accepted a larger role and became a valet using the stage name Miss Hancock, some weeks spelled Hancock, briefly serving as an associate for the tag team of Lenny Lane and Lodi dubbed standards and practices. Despite wearing business suits, her character was known to climb on top of the announcer stable and dance sensually. It was also during this period that she began using what would become her trademark ring entrance, slowly putting her 42-inch legs through the second tier of ropes, pausing to let the crowd momentarily see her panties. At 5 feet 11 inches, Cabler was one of few women in professional wrestling tall enough to step over the middle of the three ropes that surround the ring. For a brief period, she dated David Flair, both on screen and off, who was already involved in an on screen relationship with Daphne. This led to Cabler's in ring debut at the Bash at the Beach in a wedding gown match, which she lost after she removed her own gown. Hancock next briefly feuded with Kimberly Page. But the storyline ended abruptly when Page quit the company. Cabler and Flair then began a feud with the Misfits in Action Stable, including a mud wrestling singles match against Major Guns of New Blood Rising. During the match, she was kicked in the stomach, and she revealed herself to be pregnant the next night, beginning a new angle for herself and Flair. Two proposed endings to the storyline were for either Ric Flair or Vince Russo to be the father of her child. The angle however, ended prematurely, as she revealed the pregnancy to be false, broke up with David Flair, and was taken off of television. When she returned, she was known by her real name on screen. Various Storylines, 2003-2005 Cabler was chosen to record a track on the album WWE Originals. She and WWE music producer Jim Johnston recorded the song Why Can't We Just Dance? for the album. She was then placed in a feud involving Toy Wilson and then Babyface, Sable, both of whom had recently posed for a Playboy cover. Cable are aligned with Ms. Jackie, neither of whom had posed for the magazine, claiming that they deserved to be in Playboy over Sable and Wilson. Cabler and Jackie challenged Sable and Wilson to a tag team evening gown match at WrestleMania 20, which they lost when Jackie was pinned by Wilson, and the feud was dropped afterward. Before the feud was dropped, all the performers were playing face characters at the time. Cabler wrestling Trish Stratus during a house show in October 2004. In October 2003, Cabler appeared in the ring with Steve Austin. She was offered a beer, which she politely refused. However, at the urging of Austin, she took a sip of the Miller Lite. Her disgust was apparent, which displeased Austin. As a result, she received a stone cold stunner. She took over the 2004 or Diva search for a few weeks, which led to several tag matches against the heel gimmicks of Gail Kim, Trish Stratus and Molly Holly and with partners Nydia and their face gimmick of Victoria. Cabler got upset victories over Kim, Stratus, 
and Holly Dotche earned the women's championship title match on October 11, 2004, but she was defeated by Stratus, who retained the title. Cabler also competed in the first ever Full Philly or Fantasy Diva Battle Royal for the WWE Women's Championship at Taboo Tuesday along with Victoria, Nadia, Gail Kim, Molly Holly. Jazz, and then champion Stratus. She was eliminated second to last after jumping over the top rope to avoid hitting the turnbuckle, followed by Holly knocking her off the apron to eliminate her. In February 2005, Cabler began appearing in backstage segments with then babyface, Randy Orton, and eventually became his on screen girlfriend. When Orton challenged The Undertaker to a match at WrestleMania 21, Orton ended the relationship by hitting Stacy with an RKO, incapacitating her. He justified it by claiming he was demonstrating how ruthless he could be in order to defeat The Undertaker. Super Stacy and Departure, 2005 to 2006. Cabler as Super Stacy Cabler then joined forces with Rosie and the Hurricane. She became one third of the trio as a superhero sidekick nicknamed Super Stacy complete with her own superhero costume. She was ringside during several matches as they defended their World Tag Team Championship. During this time, Cable feuded on screen with then heel, Victoria, including confrontations and a mixed tag team match on Raw and a singles match on Heat. After a long tenure on Monday nights, Cable and Christy Hem were moved to SmackDown. On August 25th, as part of a trade that brought Toy Wilson and Candice Michelle to Raw. On SmackDown, Cable participated in lingerie matches and bikini contests. After a short absence, Cable began a short feud with Gillian Hall, which led to the two having a match on Velocity, which Cable lost. This would be Cable's final match with WWE. Cable then asked for time off to appear on Dancing with the Stars. During this time, Cabler's WWE com profile was moved from SmackDown to Raw, though she never made an appearance on the brand before leaving the company. Cabler's final mention on WWE programming occurred on the March 6, 2006 episode of Raw, where she was insulted by Candice Michelle for placing third on Dancing with the Stars during Michelle's unveiling of her Playboy magazine cover. After completing her stint on Dancing with the Stars, Cabler officially parted ways with WWE in July 2006 to move on to other endeavors.